Hey guys, what's up? It's Chaos again, and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my past detailing jobs. You can see me there working on the floor mat for the next car, which is my buddy's Escort ZX2. One of the first cars I ever did, uh, you can see the, the rows in the uh, floor mats there, kind of showing off that they're clean. And uh, we did a quick one step on that, it was pretty cool. Uh, came out really nice, Donnie was really pleased with it. The next car belongs to a friend of mine in Maryland, and this, again, kind of a, a quick thing. We didn't do, I didn't do too much on it because I had to do it on location in Maryland. Um, just a clay bar and, and a light correction and that kind of thing. Came out really nice, in, in my opinion. It's a neat little car. Um, wasn't obnoxious with the exhaust or anything like that. Definitely had some, uh, some pep to it. It was, a, you know, a fun little project. This, this next detail was one of the most challenging things I had ever worked on. As you can see, that is some horrible, horrible swirls, marring, etc. And I did this detail in sub-zero temperatures. It was freezing out in the driveway. It came around nicely, as you can see, but uh, I, I have the worst habit of doing things in extreme weather. This is a shot of uh, all my detailing products that I used to use. Um, I don't do it so much anymore, but uh, this is just showing off how, uh, how I used to do things. This car here, a Civic, belongs to a guy named Alex. And we just did a quick one step on that, and I wanted to show it off. You know, just uh, put that in the video. This here, again, uh, in the extreme weather, I was using hot water. And standing on cold pavement, and it instantly, instantly turned to ice under my feet. It was soapy ice under my feet washing that car. Uh, it's a an 04 GTO, I believe, the 5.7 liter. Belongs to a friend of mine named Dylan, or used to belong to him. He no longer has a car. But uh, it came out really nice, as you can see. He's got a couple tweaks on the car. It's not uh, bone stock, but the, the reflections came out really nice. We did some uh, correction on it. And uh, it was one of my uh, one of my favorite details, simply because of uh, the memories of being a jackass and washing it on ice. Complete opposite here, we move on to a Jeep Cherokee SRT8. This car uh, belongs to a gentleman uh, locally who had brought me several cars. This is uh, before we did the correction, but uh, after the wash. You can see he's got a Hennessy badge. It had some aftermarket parts on it. It's a really cool truck, and it was quick as hell. You can see the orange car in the background. That belongs to, uh, well, used to belong to a friend of mine named Matt, and he gave me a huge hand on uh, all the uh, the details during the hot months, and uh, it was cool. It was really nice to have somebody helping me out. This uh, This Cherokee... Didn't take uh, didn't take a lot of uh, correction, but uh, it was a big car for me, and you know I did learn a lot from it. It was cool. It was definitely fast as hell, fast as hell. Here's the the bike, the chopper that belongs to the gentleman that owns the SRT8. It was a cool bike. Uh, it was my first bike ever, probably the last one. I didn't enjoy that too much. This truck also belongs to that guy. Uh, this is work truck. We just did a quick wash and wax on that. It was, uh, you know, normal truck wear and tear. This belongs to that same guy. Uh, this is a Ram SRT10 Viper-powered truck. You can see the wing there. It was definitely one of the cooler trucks I'd done. Um, there's the V10 engine. We didn't really do any uh, any cleanup on that because it was in, in really nice shape. You can see the... Uh, the snow foam here. And this truck took a while because simply because of the size, it was um, it was quite warm out and uh, the weather was changing as I did it. That's a cool shot I, I thought of the um, of the Viper logo on the hood. And the next shot you can see the rain started to come in and I was clay barring the car in the rain standing in the truck bed <laughs> it was uh that truck was fun i think it came out really really nice you know it was well kept 
I mean, you could see the reflection there of the Viper logo and, and everything. It was a really, really cool truck. It's not something you see every day. Not the best truck on the market, but hey, the guy liked it a lot. And he was really happy with the results. Now, the next couple details were some that I had worked on with a, a friend of mine named Mick. Uh, this is an Audi A6 wagon. And, you know, that was, uh, it didn't, again, not something we spent hours and hours on, but it came out really nice as well. There's an, uh, I believe it's an S63, so maybe, maybe an S55 um, Mercedes that we had uh, worked on a little bit. This is the Ferrari that we recently did the video on, a Ferrari Scuderia. Just figured I'd toss that in there and uh, brag about that some more. And we're going to finish it out with a picture of my old car rocking out. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. We'll catch you next time.